Hello, I'm Peter Goober. And I'm Peter Bart, and welcome to Shootout. So, Pete, it's that time of year when the tuxedos come out of the closet and we gear ourselves up for one kudo dinner after another. I mean, the interesting thing about the Academy, which is made up, after all, mainly of actors and filmmakers, that the nature of their selections more and more is drifting away from, for example, this year's Born Ultimatum, Zodiac, American Gangster, Knocked Up, and toward pictures which are more fundamentally quote, independent in nature. Pirates of the Caribbean, Spider-Man, all these giant tent poles that came out this summer, they were virtually ignored at Oscar time. Mm -hmm. And why? The reason is that these small films now are really owned by the majors. Yeah. You know, these independents, these art specialty houses are all major financed. And so they see the reward for these kudos in those films. There's not much more mileage by getting awards for Pirates of the Caribbean or Spider-Man. So they focus it on these pictures. Now what's happened is these small pictures are domestic repertoire. Sure, you'll get a Juno which may win and then have a big mm -hmm. international box office, but in the main they don't travel well. Mm -hmm. So they focus themselves for awards on their specialty art films. The question is, is this a good strategy? What about these big films? What about these big films where superstars are in it? What about Russell Crowe in American Gangster? Why wasn't he recognized? That film was, at one time, a contender. I agree. Is there a backlash against the big films? Specialty pictures need publicity, too. But that doesn't necessarily mean, and this is where your point comes in, it doesn't mean that, that the, the Oscars need to totally snub all pictures which don't have artistic pretensions. I mean, Zodiac was a beautifully shot picture, and it amazes me that in this sort of post-season, no one even mentions it, like it disappeared into some maw. One of the things we'd like not to have disappear is the Oscars. And when you start having films like these that are totally worthy, but they have no audience, real big audience awareness, yes, the ratings and the attention and the excitement are going to go down. Mm -hmm. But then maybe the Oscar ceremony the oscar show should do something maybe they should bifurcate themselves maybe they have to take the awards and reorganize them in some way i mean look they keep talking about tradition 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 mm -hmm. i mean it's only 80 or 90 years old one lifetime yeah. old the nba put a 24 second clock in the nhl did a shootout there's a playoff in the nfl i mean do we want phoenix versus tampa bay instead of the patriots versus the new york giants which one's going to get a better rating I, I'll give you a perfect example. Most film festivals, the major festivals, resolve this issue by having a Best Picture Award, but there's also an Audience Award. And the Audience Award enables Toronto and Sundance and so forth to, to throw a few bouquets at pictures that people like, people other than critics. And I think maybe that's an example that should be adapted by the Oscars and so forth. Having said all that, Let's just rebuke the voice of commerce one more time. It is wonderful that at these major award shows, the people being honored are filmmakers who have the guts to work against the system and not just to take studio assignments and take the big, the big um, Winnebago and the big paycheck. They're really rewarding the unconventional filmmakers. I think we should cite Juno as the crossover picture because you're right, there are two audiences, but Juno is one film that did receive everyone's nomination that did in fact cross over to every imaginable audience and it indeed will be bigger than Little Miss Sunshine. It's the major runaway hit of it this the year. It was the only damn film that had an upbeat ending. The rest of it was you wanted to cut your throat when you came out of that damn cinema. I mean, of course you want to vote for something. Hey, somebody ended up happy. What, what, what's going on? My point when you say Juno is that, is that an aberration? No, that's a wonderful piece of filmmaking. Mm -hmm. And I think it's part and parcel of the whole tapestry. But at the end of the day, if you have a whole huge history of those films, most of them will end up in the trash bin of film history. So rising out of Goober's trash bin next will be Javier Bardem.